Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Uh, before we get started, quick mention to my sponsor, SV Boney. Now, if you're not familiar who SV Boney are, well, they sell all things astronomical, basically, uh, from beginner telescopes right up to the seasoned astronomer, cameras, ev everything, basically. Um, but what's great about SV Boney is their prices. In my opinion, unbeatable. Uh, so you not only are you going to get the best prices on the market, but on really excellent quality i mean i've been using sv boney for years way before my youtube channel uh so do yourselves a favor and you'll be doing me a small favor as well because if you follow the link in the description i do get a small percentage of sales uh, from that link uh so uh, don't forget to go and check that link out Astronomy is full of surprises, and one new green comet has got amateur astronomers and professional astronomers very excited indeed. Now, this brand new recently discovered, uh, quite recently actually, in the last few weeks, discovered comet um, is called Swan 25F. And the good news is you can see it for yourselves. Now, there's a bit of good news and a bit of bad news with this comet. Um, the good news first, it's relatively easy to find. And, uh, and also, it's getting brighter and brighter as the, uh, this month, uh, proceeds, uh, as it gets close to the sun. So eventually, it will be visible with the naked eye. But at the moment, though, you are going to need a small telescope or a um, quite a large pair of binoculars, something like 10 b 50s something like that, to see the comet at the moment. Now, the bad news is this is an early morning target, and I do mean early. We're talking around about 3 a.m. is going to be the best time in the northern hemisphere to catch a glimpse of this uh, lovely green comet. And also, unfortunately, when it's at its best, it's going to be a little bit too low uh, for people in the northern hemisphere, at least, to get a glimpse of it. It's just going to be just below the horizon. But remember, that's just to see it with the unaided eye. But that doesn't mean, don't disappoint that doesn't mean you can't see it. Like I say, telescopes or binoculars will uh, bring out this lovely green comet. And it's green uh, because of a, uh, basically what it's made up of, something called diatomic carbon. Now, when this uh, element or, or surface gets hot, it emits a green glow, basically. So to find this lovely green comet, you want to be heading out around, like I say, around about 3 a.m. and face east. Look at the eastern skies and you want to be looking for Pegasus. Now, Pegasus is going to be really low this time of year. Uh, well, it's, it'll be just rising actually around about 3 a.m. And you want to be looking for the, what we call the, uh, an asterism, which is just a grouping of scars, uh, stars, uh, the famous asterism or the square of Pegasus. And you will see the top two stars definitely of Pegasus. And, um, what you want to be looking for is the dominant star Alpha Rats. Now, the comet is going to be passed just above it. Now, at the time of recording this video, if you get Alpha Rats in the field of view, you're going to find the comet uh, because it's just above it or just slightly above it and to the left. Um, and as you can see, what I'll do is I will uh, put you a, uh, a comet tracker up that you can take a screenshot and that'll uh, be able to track it through the uh, month of April um, and whereabouts it's going to be at the position in the sky. So as you can see, with it being um, uh, right above Alpha Rats at the minute and, uh, and a, and a very distinctive constellation of Pegasus, it's pretty easy to find this one. And it's going to be a fantastic photo opportunity for all you budding photographers out there. So folks, if it is clear tonight or the rest of this month, get yourself out and see if you can catch yourself a comet. Um, they're, they're quite a rare beast comet, so such as green ones are as well. I can't remember last time we had a green one. <laughs> so it's the incredible Hulk of comets. <laughs> well, have fun finding this one, folks. And uh, don't forget to have a look at that link in the description if you're in the market for uh, anything astronomical, basically. Well, in the meantime, folks, happy comet hunting, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.